out on the West Coast, and I've had a fucking ball. I've had a really, really fucking good time. But I'm, I'm glad to, um, you know, stop here on the way home. It's, it's wonderful. Um, Denver's always been kind of special. Yeah. Uh, for a number of reasons, De Denver, Boulder, this whole, this whole area. It was, um, it was one of the first places, uh, you know, out west of the Mississippi that drive-by truckers kind of got an audience and got some, you know, loyal devotees. And we've always been uh, really grateful for that. You've been real good to us ever since. But also, um, it, these two cool-ass fucking guitars I'm playing um, it were conceived and birthed right here in Denver. Um, I, I got to be buddies with Scott Baxendale. He used to have uh, Colfax Guitar Shop over there. He's since moved to Athens, and uh, he's like a few doors down from Drive-By Trucker Headquarters and Chase Park Studios where we record all our shit. So he's joined us in taking over the world, and uh, one old man at a time. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever seen that. Uh, I'm going to do this next song. It's, um, the, 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 we, we did a video for this thing, or Scott did. Uh, it was shot in his guitar shop over on Colfax about building this guitar. And he put it on top of this song. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen or been a part of. Yeah, awesome. I, still, yeah. I still laugh every time I see it. That's, that's great. That's good. You know, yeah. You should, you should do that with videos made by Scott Baxendale and pictures of your mother. <laughs> <laughs> amazing guitar players and singers and guys to have in a band next to you I've ever known in my life. Um, he had this um, he had this girlfriend named Mary. 
And uh, they broke up, and he got a new girlfriend, because that's how we roll. And uh, her name wasn't Mary. But one night he fucked up. See, that's why I follow the advice of this old drummer I had. He's like 10 years older than me. He said, call them all baby and darling. Just baby, darling, nothing else. But anyhow, this guitar playing motherfucker, one night, you know, he's getting busy, and he, he said the wrong name, and she said, what did you say? He said, No shit, that is why I wrote this song. No, it's just not, it wasn't an outline for a screenplay starring Jennifer Aniston. It was... And roll me as well, but he can't help telling young boys like Baby, on the ways a good enough reason to get you out of life Get you out without having to swallow any pride Thank you. 
find out how, how TSA feels about banjos. <laughs> I know how I feel. So the double mint twin Come back baby Rock and roll never forget tell the story. <laughs> Y'all know Grandpa Jones? Oh, yeah. Ask your parents. Um, he's a grand old Opry star. Um, he, he haw regular. But uh, legend has it that once Grandpa Jones went to a Cadillac dealership in Nashville, and said, y'all shut the fuck up. I'm trying to do a show up here. <laughs> no, actually, he was just browsing. He was looking at Cadillacs. And the salesman approached him and said, so you think about buying a Cadillac? 
And Grandpa John said, no, I'm thinking about pussy, but I'm definitely buying a cat. <laughs> legend and the characters are the same and like two out of three times you hear it it's true man and every time I've heard that story it's been Grandpa Jones not Tom yeah. Jones not John Paul Jones Grandpa fucking Jones every time I've heard that story so that makes it true All I right. want it to be true I want it to be wearing his hat and his glasses <laughs> no, I'm thinking about pussy, but I definitely buy a Cadillac. <laughs> I loved Hee Haw when I was a kid. <laughs> Before you ever made that record, before there ever was a son, before you ever lost that cattle, Carl Perkins won. proud to die. Mr. Phillips never said anything behind nobody's back. Like damn it, Elvis don't he know. He ain't no Johnny Cash. If Mr. Phillips was the only man that Jerry Lee still would call sir. I guess Mr. Phillips did all y'all about as good as you deserve. Just what he said he's gonna do And the money came in sacks New contracts Carl Perkins Cadillac Well I got friends in Nashville Or at least the folks I know Promised him a Cadillac and put the wind in Carl's face. He did just what he said he's gonna do, and the money came in sacks. New contracts. Carl Perkins Cadillac. Fiberglass. If you meet, call it quits. 
Miss Phillips was the only man that Jerry Lee still would call sir. I guess Mr. Phillips did all of y'all About as good as you deserve Did just what he said he's gonna do And the money came in sacks New contracts Carl Perkins Cadillac Hey, did you ever notice he was he was polishing the windows? He had a rag in his hand. He was wiping the windows, and then when he would say "What's for supper?" he would put his fingers through the window. His fingers would go. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't get it, but you need to look it up. <laughs> when I was about 14, yes, I used to be 14. Yeah. And uh, I went on this church sponsored weekend thing. For, other 14 year old people which is basically we're gonna hook up but for some reason or another they scheduled this keynote speaker who was this former like redneck mob guy he had done time he got out and uh, he was he came to speak at this thing all these teenage kids and uh, hey, it was weird the place packed out Everybody's parents showed up, and that really fucked up my plans. <laughs> and then this badass motherfucker who's like a redneck Alabama Tony Soprano, yeah! I shit you not. <laughs> and he's like nervous, and he's sweating bullets. And I, I, you know, in hindsight, I think he might have been doing community service. I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he was. But... I, I was just really knocked out by that and his whole his whole thing. He was uh, one of the one of the main guys in the little syndicate down there that uh, the real Buford Pusser was fucking with in the movie Walking Tall. <laughs> and uh, the fact that he was there and I, everybody was there to see this guy come and atone, and he didn't atone at all. <laughs> he did his community service kind of a thing of beauty. <laughs> Tell my story to all these young people of mine. Yeah! Look in their unspoiled faces and their curious bright eyes. Stories of corruption, crime, and killing, yes, it's true. Reading fixed elections, guns and drugs and whores and booze. Since I put on a suit of my own clothes And even longer since I cast my shadow on a church house door They say every sin is deadly But I believe we may be wrong I'm guilty of all seven I don't feel too bad at all I used to have a water Hundred dollar bills in the back pocket of my seat I had a 45 underneath my coat And another one in my boot I drove a big old Cadillac, bought a new one in town, my please. And I put more lawmen in the ground than Alabama put cotton seed. Yeah. I spent a few 
Country's on vacation sanctioned by the state of Michigan. See a man like me don't do no time Too hard to come back from I mean it's still the mean you see You block the way and toss the key They just loud mouth wants to be Stay cleaner off my seat Somewhere I ain't saying There's a hole to hold this jug The last one that I dug myself And I must admit I was I did the best I could. Once the honor grows, conscience of folks that they were staying no good. Great girl out there said that he used to stay cool tonight. All I need from you is to come home, be here by myself. Say what you gotta say to shut their Bibles in their mouths. They was the time to do, said, have to lay their Bibles down. I could never save enough to put back half the ones I took. So with their rest and torment, you can't say it's causing me. They'd long been bought and paid for like that fool's in Tennessee. And I used to have a water, hundred dollar bills in the back pocket of my suit. I had a forty-five underneath my coat and another one in my boot. Drove a big old Cadillac, bought a new one every time I flew. And I put more lawmen in the ground than a bottle of cotton seed. Yeah. Yeah. There's a pretty girl out there said that he used to stay cool tonight. All I need is used to come home and be here by my side. Say what you gotta say, shut their Bibles in their mouths. They was the time who said happily their Bibles down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this bottle in here. Yeah. As this time goes on, I broke and that's the best I will. I think I'm gonna tell her that I'm gonna go away for a while. So I can get this demon out. Coffee cup. You tell me 
Broccoli and boogers. Second letter. <laughs> Kids won't eat broccoli. Don't let it fool you, this highway's moving. 